Welcome. Welcome to the Risk 5 Global Forum. So glad that you've decided to join us. We are very grateful to our incredible sponsors, uh, sponsoring from Western Digital, Cloudbear, IAR Systems, Adicor, Open Hardware Group, and Huawei, among others, and our silver sponsors and bronze sponsors. Please take a minute while you're at our event to check out what they've got in their booths, in their virtual booths. And while you're on the platform, be sure and chat with not only our sponsors, but with each other, because that's what our community is all about. This is a profound time in the evolution of our world and society. We live in a world gripped by the shared challenges ranging from climate change to a pandemic, as well as the independent challenges we all face as individuals, families, organizations, nations, and industries. We are a world shaped by history, shaped by both positive and negative disruptions. One thing is clear. Reshaping our history has almost always been about coming together, about taking a united approach in leveraging the talents, resources, perspectives, and more that our global village can bring to the challenge or to the opportunity. When the playing field becomes weighted by the interests of only a few, it's time for the game to change. We've seen this in open source software over decades that evolved from a grassroots effort in the 90s to running the most critical systems of our global society. For semiconductors, the challenges began slowly growing over decades. Challenges and constraints ranging from the limits of physics to the burdens of business models. At the same time, the opportunity and demand for custom microprocessors is skyrocketing. Compute capability ranging from microprocessors and embedded to scale up cloud and HPC implementations. The demands are endless and growing. The increasing tech complexity of legacy microprocessors has become profound, requiring hundreds of engineers, millions in investments, and months and years of development. RISC-V is the ISA of our time and the open foundation for our collective future. The flexibility and innovation potential across performance, power, size, implementation, core design, and many other unique variables are infinitely possible. Infinite because you no longer need that army of experts for each element. In risk five, complexity is managed through extensions and IP blocks. The composition becoming the unique innovation rather than the individual blocks. Here's a fun fact. With 47 instructions in the base ISA, RISC-V is the smallest ISA for 32-bit and 64-bit addresses. By comparison, another popular architecture has more than 1,500 instructions. This has tangible impact. In RISC-V, we're composing designs that leverage only the necessary extensions. This modular and reduced code approach also has positive impacts for power consumption. RISC-V is fundamentally designed for unique designs. It is the innovation platform for the things that shape our lives and the world around us. RISC-V adoption is in motion across industries such as AI, IoT, security, HPC, AR, VR, automotive, embedded, industrial, aeronautics, and more. We're progressing on a continuum working up from the ISA and core IP to build a greater ecosystem from packaging to boards to software. You know, with technology barriers coming down, we also see this in the business side. Business barriers to entry in the microprocessor industry have been enormous. Hundreds of millions of dollars, hundreds of people working for years. For decades, we've relied on the economics of reducing the cost per transistor and wafer density toward increasing volumes to recoup investment. When you lean on physics for a business model, it gets tricky. Given the cost of entry, our industry was limited to only a few companies that could afford to be in the game. That didn't leave us with, with much to pick from. And once we did, switching costs were high and we were locked in. Risk five has disrupted the entire business and technical status quo. So unconstrained opportunity means a lot. 
You have unconstrained innovation partners, folks that you can collaborate with, innovate with, invent new things with, unconstrained supply chain, and at the same time, you have unconstrained market opportunity. You can go into adjacent markets, whether it's geography or domain, and many opportunities allow you to grow and build on your investment. Open source and global standards have taken substantial risk, investment, time, and constraints out of custom processor design. When multiple stakeholders are invested across numerous domains, geographies, implementations, you actually reduce the uncertainty of strategically choosing to build on risk five. You have an invested global community along with you. No one entity, person, or geography owns the technology. We all do. This creates a cycle of growth. The building blocks we all rely on are in the public domain. Multiple stakeholders continue to invest in risk five and grow the ecosystem. This collective effort is building confidence, strategic investment, and more building blocks, bringing it back to risk five. We are uh, perpetuating a growth cycle together. Our community, in fact, is incredible. Today, we have more than 690 members spanning 50 countries. Our global community is distributed about one third in North America, about one third in Europe, and about one third in APAC. RISC-V has seen tremendous engagement and collaboration across our 37 technical and industry committees and work groups. Our dedicated community is driving progress. We're gaining momentum in open technical deliverables. Our members are growing their commercial success. Entrepreneurs are starting new companies. Investors are funding RISC-V companies. Multinationals are building beyond microcontrollers and public institutions are specifying risk five. Students and professors are integrating risk five in research and studies. We are rapidly cultivating an ecosystem of stakeholders across all dimensions. Let's talk about the progress we've made. And I know we get out and we talk with folks fairly often. So let's just, I'm just gonna focus on 2020. What have we done since our summit in December 2019. It's been a busy year. Risk Five membership has grown by 50%, continuing the trajectory since we formed five years ago. Across our membership, more than 2,000 individuals are engaged in our 37 Risk Five work groups and committees. That's nearly double the Risk Five groups and a 40% increase in engagement than the beginning of the year. We've seen participation grow by 63% in our 23 local meetups and event groups around the world. We are getting a lot of attention. We've added more than 5,000 followers on social media and have participated in more than 80 news articles, along with amplifying the Risk 5 news of our community more than 300 times. The Risk 5 International vision is the broad adoption of risk five throughout the world and across industries as the standard ISA of choice. We have designed and implemented six programs to support our community. Let me share with you a few of the things that we've done uh, around our programming and support from risk five international. First, technical deliverables. We have knocked down the last barriers to ensure that both the development process and the resulting deliverables are done with transparency through policy changes and new practices. We also launched our technical steering committee, ensuring industry best practice governance across our technical mission. This year, we have also ratified two more specifications, set up a security response process, initiated the compliance framework and tests, launched the legal committee, and welcomed Mark Himmelstein on board as our risk five CTO. Visibility. Visibility is a strategic focus on both the progress of Risk Five International and in promoting the success of our members. Showing our collective progress has positive impact across our industry. We have participated in 37 global, regional, and industry events. Perhaps this is a bit lower than past years, but that's still an incredible number in a very challenging time. 
This is in addition to our local meetup community. These include all kinds of events from HPC and Embedded World in Europe to DAG and Open Source Summit in North America to several regional events in China and Taiwan. We have engaged in 378 blogs, announcements, and press briefings, generating 9,244 mentions to the press. More on visibility. You know, we've updated our website. We're providing stronger visibility of RISC-V solutions with increasing numbers of cores, SOCs, software, and tools, as well as adding an area for developer boards. We've got 220 offerings posted today. We've launched our RISC-V Ambassador Program. This supports and amplifies the engineering leaders in our community. Today, we have seven ambassadors around the world who are helping with developer forums, online content, work groups, and speaking opportunities to connect engineers at all levels. We continue to capitalize on opportunities to amplify the great progress of our community and we welcomed Kim McMahon as our Director of Marketing this summer. Learning, another very important mission for RISC-V. Learning RISC-V is an important piece of, for our community, whether approaching it as a student in a university or growing skills as an engineer. We recently launched RISC-V Learning with three key areas. First, we're connecting universities with 30 contributed labs, lectures, and materials to invigorate RISC-V in university curriculum. Second, we've launched the RISC-V Training Partner Program together with our first four partners around the world to offer professional RISC-V training in a multitude of formats. And finally, we're gearing up RISC-V Online Learning to offer broad as well as deep technical knowledge, accelerating the developer experience. You know, we have a vision, a vision for the future of computing. The RISC-V community is already making an impact across industries. In automotive, we've seen progress in safety and security from NVIDIA and have worked with them from, to form the Functional Safety Special Interest Group in RISC-V. In HPC, we continue to work with the European Commission on RISC-V acceleration for supercomputers through the EPI initiative, as well as sharing insights on open source approaches to technology to reduce risk and dependency on any one entity. The future for RISC-V is incredibly bright in areas with legacy architectures as well as new arenas with growing adoption of custom processors. In the memory semiconductor space, growth projections range from 6 to 16% on this $100 billion market led by flash, telecom, and consumer electronics. Industrial and automotive, close behind as we bring on more compute and memory solutions to safety, automated driving, infotainment, and more. IoT continues to be a hot growth area. IoT devices are includes a broad range of electronics, household appliances, automotive and commercial IoT for manufacturing, logistics, and transportation. Business Insider forecasts more than 64 billion IoT devices by 2026. This is a $15 trillion market. Predictions from Semico, See forecast risk five cores to climb to 62.4 billion by 2025, primarily led by industrial transportation, communications, consumer, and other compute implementations. Risk five provides an innovative platform to go after these opportunities with market leaders like Microchip, NVIDIA, Western Digital, Talus, Samsung, Huawei, NXP, ZTE, Alibaba, Qualcomm, Infineon. Ant Micro and Hitachi as a few from our growing roster of members. You know, chips don't come to fruition without design support, verification, software, and tools. Our community brings together thought leadership from Venture in Paris, Ultrasoft, Cadence, Codasip, Louderbuck, Occam, Blue Spec, Canonical, and Red Hat. These are just a few. We have an incredible roster of members, and I hope you'll join us online to just check out what everyone's doing. Who's joined risk five? We're continuing to collaborate, not only within our community, but externally across entities such as Global Platform for security standards, as well as alliances with 12 other regional and industry groups. 
This includes alliances for research, education, industry adoption, software support, and regional risk five groups as well. It's time to build risk five into your strategy, into your company strategy and your personal mission. Risk five began as a university project contributing and was contributed to the public domain. And we've since grown into a community of passionate, dedicated and invested stakeholders as individuals, as companies, as universities, public institutions and nonprofits, as nations, as one global connected movement. In the last month, we've also completed our transition to Risk Five International bringing our community more membership options, stronger programs to underscore the value of membership and accelerating our collective mission. We also have more representative governance in the board and TSC. In fact, we began the board with a uh, composition of seven directors from the US. Today, we are a board of 16 directors across North America, Europe and APAC. Now is the time to join RISC-5. I invite you, check out the options. Let me know if I can help you make your case to your organization leadership to join. And for those who have already joined RISC-5, thank you. We are honored to work together with you. If you have not already, take advantage of the many ways to engage with us. We have work groups and committees across all the areas I've talked about, from technical to learning to visibility and more. Now is the time to bring your perspectives, your strategies, and your code into risk five work with your work with your management to list risk five on your personal and team business goals every year gain support to build risk five into your day job and let me know if i can help i'm incredibly proud to be a leader in risk five revolution right here right now we're steadfast, committed, and invested in the success of our mission to support global RISC V adoption and proliferation. We firmly believe RISC V will be the ISA of choice through the technical merits of the architecture, the rapidly growing ecosystem of stakeholders, and the business barriers we have together demolished. So join me right here, right now. Thank you.